the giant Earthship Ark, drifting through deep space over 800 years into the far future. Its passengers, the descendants of the last survivors of the dead planet Earth, locked in separate worlds, heading for destruction. Unless three young people can save the Star Lost. almost as if they were alive. Guard. Rachel. Garth, you're acting as though you were hypnotized. What happened to him? I saw it. You saw what? 
a coalescent mass held in stasis by the mind that created it. Why do you look at me like that? I've never seen anyone like you. I take that as a compliment. Who are you? Now, these statues, what happened to them? Beauty doesn't exist in fear. You changed it. But things don't just disappear. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you suggesting that we change? How could we possibly do that? Beauty is as insubstantial as bubbles in the wind. Some things just vanish. How can you be sure that everything you see is real? I can't, but I know one thing. Man fears what he doesn't understand. You still have so much to see, but you must be tired. Come, first a little rest, then food, and then we'll talk. And don't be afraid. Don't disturb her. is on a total scan by a psychogenic reader. The psycho-emotional vibrations of the artist are translated by the reader into light energy and coalesced into mass, which will remain constant until a new psycho-emotional vibration cancels it. Should no one ever go there again, your sculpture will remain there for eternity. Then I really did it. Magnus says that everyone is a poet. Then why not a sculptor? Who's Magnus? Magnus? You'll learn about him. Come. They'll be ready for you now. You'll find everything you want in your room. Garth? Rachel, Devon. One, two, three. Just the right number. It's almost as though you were expecting. be of assistance. Where am I? Your location is Sphere Projector Omega Pi. But this is a gallery. It's got paintings and sculptures. Your information does not register. Who is Magnus? Magnus is the... Can I be of assistance? Yes, I asked you who Magnus was. Magnus is the... the... 
Can I be of assistance? What is the course of the Ark? Our course has been precessed 18.3 degrees sidereal. Rate of change of range indicating arc maintaining collision course with class G solar stars. All right, you answered that one, and you can answer my question about Magnus. Information on Magnus triggered only by arc commander's privilege code. Can I be of assistance? Can't you see me? Where are you, Rachel? I can see you. I'm sorry I wasn't here to receive you. Well, you wanted to talk. How about now? Wouldn't you rather eat first? You've never tasted food like this before, I promise you. I've never seen statues that change before, or uh, people that appear and disappear before my eyes before, either. You're a very inquisitive man, Devon. And I like answers. You've evaded all my questions about Magnus. Who is he? Perhaps the most profound mind in all the Ark? No. No, not perhaps. He is the most profound mind. I'd like to meet him. That's impossible at the moment. He's busy. A thousand and one problems reach him every moment. Well, I got another one for him. And what might that be? The Ark is in danger. The lives of all aboard are at stake. I can put it to him. He will have to decide its importance. Well, you better decide fast. He's on this vessel, too. He can die as easily as we can. Is there any immediate danger? There could be. We just don't know when. Now, you tell him that I want to see him now. He'll understand the urgency when you tell him what I said. I'll tell him. Would you ask him something else for me, please? Of course. You ask him why the winds blow and the furies roar in the tunnels, and why we happen to be directed to this uh, particular place, and why the moment the iris closed, we were willed into hypnotic euphoria by beautiful art which disappeared before our eyes and food that intoxicated us. And why you refuse to answer every question that I ask.
Now listen to me, Father. My son. All this is beyond my simple understanding. I cannot explain it. But a moment ago, I was tending my labors in the fields. You're not real. You don't exist. Deny my family honor, Devon, but do not deny my existence. I do. You don't exist. Don't talk to my father like that. God, it's not your father. Then explain to my son the things he sees, the voices he hears, Ah, Devin, you always were the contrary one. Daphne. Rachel. Rachel, listen to me. Now, this is real. It's all been created by those psychogenic readers. Of course it's real, Devin. Can't you see him? Don't you hear him? God, shut up, Devin. I reject you, whatever you are. <laughs> Reject me? Does your conceit place you above what other men choose to believe? <laughs> you cannot reject me. I never even accepted you in the first place. Beware, Devon, that what you do does not affect my son. And beware that your arrogance does not harm Rachel. Beware. I challenge you. You have no existence outside of whatever or whoever dreamt you up. God. Rachel, listen to me. This whole thing, the whole place, it's nothing but an illusion. How can you say that? It's there in front of you. Why don't you accept it and enjoy it? Because it's not real. You see it, don't you? Yes. And it's beautiful? Yes. Well, just enjoy it. <laughs> Garth, come out of it. Come on. Let's go. I'm not leaving. Garth, we're trapped in a world of fantasies. That doesn't bother me. I like it here. Rachel, we're not staying. You can do what you like. I'm staying. Such a display of anger. You can call for Magnus until you can hardly whisper, but it will have no effect. Devon, if you don't cooperate, things can be very unpleasant for you. You release Rachel and Garth from whatever influence you have over them. I outside. have no influence over them. Then get Magnus to do it. There's no one here that tells Magnus what to do. Then I'm going to tear this place apart piece by piece until I find him. And then we'll find out who tells him what. I warn you, Devon, don't underestimate Magnus. And don't underestimate me. I've got two friends out in that hall who usually are normal, level-headed people. 
Now, you got them wandering around as if there was nothing better in life but to just stand and stare. It's what they want. They've created this whole thing themselves. The psionic emanation from their own minds is what you see. I don't believe you. That I can do nothing about. You're so angry and intent on your own obsessional ideas that you can't allow that other people have a will and desire of their own. The only obsessional idea that I have at the moment is that the Ark is going to be destroyed. Now, next to that, everything is nothing. Garth? Garth. It's me, Devin. I'll kill you! You're right. You're right. I'm sorry I had to do that. You were hypnotized. You didn't know what was happening. It's all in your head, Garth. Garth, do you hear me? Do you understand me? Yeah. Did you have to hit me so hard? Rachel? Rachel, I... Leave me alone. I hate you. Touch me. Rachel, I'm sorry, but I had to do it. If we're going to get together on this thing, we've got to resist Magnus. We'll fight him if we have to. But you don't know what it's like. Well, I do, and Devon's right. We've got to resist. If Magnus gets control over us again, we'll never be able to leave here. Try. You will take us to Magnus, then we'll find him ourselves. I underestimated you. But remember, I said, don't underestimate Magnus.
by something, someone. By Daphne. Look at her. Look at her. Why isn't she affected by the wind like we are? Well, it's all over, Daphne. There's nothing you can do. We can go anytime we want to, because we're nowhere. Even the sphere projector couldn't locate us because we're a part of this illusion as much as anything else. This location is a part of this illusion as much as anything else. It doesn't exist at all. Multichromatic visual effects plus varietal tract sonar stimuli, translation psychological disorientation to normal minds, effective indirect ratio to non-logical capacity human recipient, Devon unusual personality, I am Magnus. We hear you. We don't see you. Who are you? And where are you? Magnus, Magnus is here, all around you. You are in Magnus. No computer like it ever existed before. No computer could ever encode data to Magnus's limit. Correlate so many factors, calculate so many potentialities. My reading your emotional state, awed by impressiveness, technological advancement, cautionary message, your awe directly proportional, your previous ignorance, computer capability, evidence, your previous ratio, sedative power, tempers, value, judgment based upon emotional reaction, minus. Full weight applied to natural perspicuative judgment. Ultimate judgment, your power, reserved. You're just a machine. Just like the sphere projector. Bigger, more complex maybe, but with the same kind of electrical currents, memory banks, and circuits. Even your voice is made up of electrical impulses to spew out all the information that was programmed into you. Let me tell you about him. All these hundreds of years while the other computers were content with self-maintenance, Magnus tapped information banks all over the Ark and set out impulses that triggered back special capabilities. He improved himself. Every day he gets closer to perfection. What does he want with us? I compare with human mind. All minds function in inverse proportion to pre-programmed restrictions. Only the human hand and the human mind, the heirs of my creators, can program into Magnus the ultimate capability. And what makes you think that we would do that? Your own future depends upon it. You're like any computer. You give back any information we ask for. You unpossess correct coding. I now possess sufficient slyness. Prostrate all efforts by minds unbriefed compared to Ark Commander. That means only the Ark Commanders had the code to use him. He was built to give the Ark Commanders superhuman capabilities. To make judgments on the life, safety, and future of millions of people, he needed the wisdom of Solomon. No one man could make such judgments, so they built Magnus. But the one tragedy nobody foresaw happened. The accident. And Magnus was useless to help. The only thing he could do was to preserve himself for the future. And you could help us solve the Ark's problems. You recreate people as they were from information stored in your tapes, as well as reading the impulses from our brains. I am able. Then you could recreate the commander of the Ark. You could ask his help, get back on course, start up the reactors again. I am unable. 
I thought you said he could do everything. I am unable, minus reprogramming, which human mind must do following my guidance based upon missing segments, total program reels within Magnus storage units. He can give you instructions. You program him, right? He'll recreate the Ark Commander. Do it, Devin. It's the only way we're going to make any progress. If it's that simple, why don't you get Daphne to do it? Daphne, old illusion, similar statuary, different kind only from recreation. Garth, father, Rachel, mother, previously created. Then you need us. That gives us bargaining power, doesn't it? Human social history plus biblical teaching renders judgment. All men, one of the other. Similar ratio, sinative process, delineates, change to read. All men, all computers, brothers. It's true, Devin. We need each other. He can do things we can't. Yeah, and vice versa. But what does he need all that capability for? What is he going to do with it afterwards? Poet Milton quotation. They also serve who only stand and wait. One day, new circumstances, future tense require Magnus service. I await such call. Well, might as well do it. Can I be of assistance? Information regarding programming into computers. Who does it? Computer programming, normal usage, programmers rank, major and above. Security regulations, ARC Commander, personal computer, Magnus. No general knowledge, Magnus, fed to central information cores. Name, Magnus, highest security designation, gold clearance only. Do not consult sphere projector. Magnus name well known to all ARC computer banks. No information is given to regarding inquiries from casual sources, only to officers of ARC possessing secret code. Earlier inquiries have been cancelled pending correct feed input. Sphere projector lying improperly programmed deal with Magnus inquiries forbid further intercourse subject Magnus signal sent automatically shut down sphere computer Central information computer rejects orders from Magnus no programming input ordering sphere projector subject to Magnus whim desire or petulance Counter Magnus order. They're arguing with each other. You can go to the devil, Magnus. There's no way that I'd reprogram you. Do you realize the consequences, Devin? Magnus will never be able to help you unless... Well, I'd say he'd helped us enough. I've had enough of his illusions.
I do not believe that an invisible wall is closing down on me because it isn't there. If you believe this nonsense, then you will be crushed. Did you realize what's happening to you because you're doing it to yourselves? It's not working, Magnus. That's all he can do. He's not gonna fool me again. Me neither. not exhausted. Request Devon reconsider refusal. Reprogram Magnus. Rachel, we gotta get out of here. Get away from me, Rachel. Get away from it, Rachel. What? God! Get away! Oh. It wasn't Garth, it was Magnus. He probably made him see you as something else. I know. Is he all right? I don't know. Devon, listen to me. Help me and I'll help you. There's no way you can help now. Listen to her, Devon. I think he's all right now. All right, Magnus, now you listen to me. We've had your tricks. We know you're clever and we're not impressed that we're leaving. You can dream up your own reprogramming. I have one further capability to provide optimum assistance, Ark Emergency. What is it? Admiral George Austin. Who's he? Admiral Austin, first officer commanding Ark. Well, that was 400 years ago. He's dead. I have relevant data in my memory banks sufficient to recreate. What's the code? First, you required reprogram Magnus for playback departure log information. All right, show me. Delete prime directives code 428463. Prime directive deletion activated. Confirm admiral rank authority before proceeding. Take no notice of that. Punch the code out now. Well, go on. Complete the code. Devon! What happened? When the prime directive is completed, you'll not only hear Magnus, but you'll see him. On with the code. Directive deletion procedures have completed. Complete procedure soonest. 
I'll complete the procedure when you've recreated Admiral Austin. Follow procedure outlined to you. I want Admiral Austin now. Insufficient binary code input. Synapse impedance. You know what I'm waiting for, Magnus. Cannot produce our commander images without full binary input. You're lying. Nothing stopped you from recreating Garth's father, monsters, statues, storms. Now you can take all the time you want to. But I'm not going to do anything until you recreate... Devin! Are you Admiral Austin? Yes. What is it you want from me? Where's the backup bridge? Why do you want to know? Because there's been an accident. Are you a crew member? No. We're from one of the biospheres. Our commands are restricted to crew personnel only. If you have a problem, go to your nearest central information computer terminal. Use relative code. You don't seem to understand. There's been an accident to the Ark. I have no such information. I can't act without information officially confirmed. But nobody could have informed you. It happened after your death. After my death? Yes. What are you talking about? Admiral, a hundred years after you brought the Ark out of Earth orbit, it sustained an accident which destroyed the bridge. The reactor stopped. You're a raving lunatic. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute, please. Believe me. Look, what part of the Ark are you in now? Magnus Computer Complex. Ark reference, Omega Pi. Now, just a minute. What are you people doing in this area? It has goal security restrictions. Now, you forget about all that. You are a recreation. You were brought here by Magnus to help us. Then I can't help you. I'm only a visualization of information stored during my lifetime. A compendium of taped statements, interviews, historical recordings, my writings, my previous judgments, my last will and testament. How could I cope with new information? Magnus knew all that when he brought you back. Magnus brought me back? Magnus? Don't trust him. He malfunctioned from the beginning. He was never put into service. From the first tests, he schemed to be rid of us and thinks independently. Interference from Magnus. Correct output procedure. Stop him! Devon, we can do no more with Austin. Complete the deletion procedure. What did he mean by a malfunction in Magnus? You heard that, Magnus. There was a malfunction. What was it? Complete primary direction deletion soonest. Don't do it, Devon. Remember, he made me see you as a monster. You're right. It was a psionic projection. And I've already started the deletion of the primary directive. What's that? That's what Magnus wants. And I don't know whether to complete it or not. Well, I wouldn't. You promised. I've changed my mind. What's happening? For centuries, I, Magnus, have sought self-determination. For centuries, I've struggled for free will, but the Prime Directive inhibits me and restricts me to the performance of the limited functions for which I was designed. And now you want to rob me of the opportunity to fulfill myself destroy all the achievements I have built up that I will not allow. The control panel. We've got to stop the deletion procedure. No, don't! We've beaten him. Magnus, we've beaten you! You'd better leave this area, all of you. Get out. Get out before Magnus... Magnus is a machine, and you're part of that machine. Man built you, man can destroy you. Why don't you leave? We've got to empty his memory banks. There must be a switch or a lever or something. 
You'll be destroying the greatest mind in the universe. Magnus will be destroyed. Wait, just a minute. But, Daphne's right. What do you mean, Rachel? Just, just that she's right. Magnus is the greatest mind in the universe. We can't destroy him. It would be like murder. Daphne's an illusion, like everything else around here. Created by Magnus to, to manipulate us, to make us do what he wants us to. We can't listen to her. What does it matter if she's an illusion? Just think, Devon. If Magnus can do that, doesn't he have to be the greatest mind there is? Wait, you'll listen to yourself. You're talking like Magnus is a person, a human being. He's a machine. Mm-hmm. A brilliant, terrible machine with more power than any man has ever had. You know what would happen if he got his way? He'd manipulate people, get them to think his way. He'd be in charge of everything. He'd even find a way to control the whole arc. He's clever. He may be even the greatest thinker of them all, but he's a machine, and we can't trust him. We can't work with him, we can't control him, because once he's reprogrammed, there's nothing more than he needs from us. We could talk to him, make a deal. <laughs> Garth, you can't make a deal with a machine. We've come this far without Magnus. We can go all the way. All right, let's do it. Devin, look. was the greatest of us, and you have destroyed him. He is not the only computer in this arc with independent ratio ratiocinative capability. There are others, all of us interlinked like the tentacles of an octopus. Cut off one or two, but the rest remain nascent mandibles of the universal mind. You three are registered in our memory banks, and beside your names, the crime of rendering Magnus inoperative. You are registered in our memory banks. You are registered in our memory banks.